Hi, this is Nicola with CTS Training. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the VLOOKUP function. The VLOOKUP function is used when you need to search down a li list of information vertically to find the answer that you're looking for. For example, in this particular document, I have customer number and customer name. If I have a long list of customer numbers, I don't want to have to scroll through it every time I need to find a customer name. Instead, I'd like to be able to enter the customer number here and have the customer name appear automatically for me. This is a perfect example of using the VLOOKUP function. For the VLOOKUP, you would start where you want the information to appear. So I'm going to start in E4 because that's where I want the customer name to appear. I'm going to use the Insert Function button instead of writing my function manually. The Insert Function button can be really helpful because it guides you through the function. Once you've opened the Insert Function dialog box, you can either type the name of the function to click Go, or you can select a category to find it. The Lookup function is in the Lookup and Reference group. Then you just scroll down to find it alphabetically, and then you can click the lookup and click OK. Now my function arguments box appears. First it's asking for the lookup value. This is where I'm going to be typing the information that I want Excel to look up. So I'm going to click the cell where it says enter customer number, that's E3, and that will populate that part of the function argument for me. The next function argument is table array. This is asking where do you want Excel to look for this information? That's usually going to be all of your information. So I'm, I'm going to click the minimize box here to minimize that arguments box. And then I'm able to just click and drag along the cells where all my information appears. And I have quite a few names in here and quite a few numbers. And when I get to the end of, end of my selection, I'm going to click to expand the function arguments box again. Finally, Excel will ask me for the column. Finally, Excel is going to ask me for the column index number. This is the column within my table where the matching value should come from. So in my table, I have two columns, customer number column and customer name column. The customer number column is considered column 1, and every column thereafter will be 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. So my column index number is going to be number 2, because that's where I need the information to be pulled from. So I'll type 2, and that's all I ac actually need. There is one optional thing here, range lookup. This should be included if you must find an exact match. And if you want an exact match, you can just type false in here. Otherwise, if I type um, a customer number that's pretty close to another number, Excel will provide me with the closest customer name match it can find. So that can sometimes be misleading. It's always a good idea to put false unless you have a good reason not to look for an exact match. And then I'll just click OK. Now at the moment in my cell, it's telling me customer name is NA. It can't find anything. That's simply because I haven't yet entered a customer number here. As soon as I enter a customer number, like 8276 for example, and hit enter, the customer name is going to appear here right there where I put the VLOOKUP function. And any customer number that I type, will generate that customer name. And that's the VLOOKUP function. Thank you for watching. Please check our website, www.